everybody, it's Dwellis, Kiwi Scrapper from New Zealand and I'm just coming to do, um, I'm doing two videos, part one and part two and this is um, for the design team call um, by Lily Lineker for her Shabalicious shop on Sibbit. Um, yes, I mean that's self-explanatory, Lily's is um, decided to add some more um, members to her uh, design team for her Shabalicious shop. Uh, she's doing very well. And, you know, that shop is stocked full of goodies. Um, so if you haven't visited it, you know, just um, pop on over. I'll try and put the link in the description box below. Um, if I forget or I can't find it, <laughs> which is probably more likely because I don't tend to forget things, um, then if you just call on, go to Google and call up um, Shabalicious on YouTube and I'll put the correct spelling of Shabalicious um, in the description box below if I don't put the link. So yes, so she's having a, um, a design team call and they may be for permanent members or just for guest appearances. I'm not sure yet. But anyway, I just put this here because I don't have a name plaque. So I'm going to be um, doing something with this soon, altering it. Just shove that there. Um, so the first thing I did was um, I ju I've done a heart wall plaque. And there it is. And I hope you can all that all of that is showing. Um, this started life as a wooden, uh, a plain wooden um, shape in, in the shape of a heart, and as you can see, it's quite large. Yeah, use my hand. Um, it had um, great big yellow and purple flowers painted on it, hand painted on it, like folk art. So to get rid of that, I because I didn't want it showing through anywhere, I had to paint several layers of gesso, um, and then I popped this paper on. This paper I was very excited about because I've been trying desperately trying to get hold of the Prima. Um, fairy bell collection. Now I don't have them all, but I've got, I've got some of them, and I got them from America a couple of weeks ago, from an online shop that I discovered, and they are just gorgeous. I love them. This is the one that I chose to use, and I've, that's the ballerina. I fussy cut her for the project. We've got a lovely old cage up there. We've got, whoops, trying to get this in. We've got birds in the corner here. Um, and butterflies, just just absolutely gorgeous. There's a pink ballerina on that one, and a chandelier in the corner. It's a beautiful collection, this Prima collection here. I got two of each of the papers that I managed to get. I'm going to be trying to find some more of the other, the rest of the collection. Lovely one up there. This is Paris. Yeah, I think I started off with that one. Um, anyway, so. I decided, I was so excited that they'd arrived and I'd been dying to do something with with that collection. So I couldn't not do anything with it for, for Lily. I had to. Just had to do this. So um, I decided, to, um, I put the paper, that they're 12 by 12 papers, so I cut them out very carefully so I could get the, get the fairy plus get the background I wanted out of the one sheet. So we've got the birds up in the corner, we've got the lovely um, Victorian cage over here and I did not want to cover those. Then I fussy cut out the girl, the, the fairy, and positioned her where I want to, to look as if she was flying. Um, I cut out her name at the edge and that says Fairy Bell. So that was the background for it. I applied this lace all, all the way around the heart and that's in a very soft, pale, pale, lemony cream. Just gorgeous, so that it matches the dress that she's wearing. Um, and then I put this very delicate lace, which is in a ivory colour. That's absolutely gorgeous. I put that all the way around the heart as well. And then um, I use this, this sort of, it's an ivory colour, but it's paler than this one. And I put that down here and around here. And then I used this one that I've used here, this beautiful delicate one. I also started it here and did it around here just to emphasize the point of the heart. And then I put some lovely lemon flat back hearts, pearlized hearts on this. 
um, and flat back pearls around here. I've got open roses here just at the points and I've shimmered them, put some shimmer mist or glimmer mist or whatever they call it, I don't know what it's called, you know, you stickles, it's called stickles, you know I cannot get that name into my head, stickles, 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 I'm going to write it on my hand, maybe I'll have it tattooed somewhere on my wrist, I just cannot remember it. Uh, these gorgeous um, hessian or burlap, which whatever you want to call it, we call it hessian here, but America they call it burlap. Um, these were made by um, Evelyn, and that's Evelyn 0861, and Evelyn lives in America, and we did a swap a number of weeks ago, probably February or March, something like that, and we made each other some flowers amongst other things. So this is the first time I've used them, so thank you, Evelyn. They're gorgeous. And the other ones are a little bit darker than this, so they were perfect for this project. There's a lovely little glittered up um, butterfly there. And I'll tell you about these butterflies in another video because when, when I use them again, they're absolutely gorgeous. This here is a um, is from Lily's shop. It's a metal piece. I don't have much of Lily's things here. I've used them all up in other projects, so I've tried to use what I have got that's suitable. So um, this is a piece from hers, and her metal pieces are, are wonderfully pliable, so you can kind of like bend them carefully into different shapes. Um, this is a flower and I gessoed over it a couple of layers and then I painted it over with antique white and popped in a um, um, an amber antique glass bead there. We've got pearl scrolls around here and then I um, took a piece of A4 white photocopying paper, I tea stained it um, quickly, I didn't want it too dark and then I um, just went round the edge, tore it up and went round the edges with um, archival sepia ink and um, I and scrolled up the edges to make it and mod podged over it and then I copied out a, a little pile mud found for fairies and it, which seemed very apt for this particular project and it says a rustle in the wind reminds us that a fairy is near and look she's near, here she is um, we've got some little vintage string pearls down here, or vintage coloured. So, and just sort of dangling around. The back has just been painted, as I say, just gesso white. And um, so that's that's my number one project. So I just hope you can see it all. And, you know, I really love it because I just love that fairy. Now my next project I did in the same or very similar, very similar colours because I wanted to um, to sit near near to each other, um, and I decided to do a dress form. The lady L Lily said that we could do two or more projects so that you know that she could see the type of work we did. Um, she works a lot with uh, in her shop. She uses a lot. She has a lot of very good selection of laces. Um, metal pieces, uh, I think she's got flowers, you know, you need to go over there and have a look, it's, it's a, um, some lovely things in her shop and she's just restocked it up recently after her trip to America recently and um, yeah, it's well worth a visit to Shabalicious on Zibit. Um, I've, as I say, I've almost finished all the things that I bought from her shop uh, a few weeks ago, a number of weeks ago now, so I've been just slowly using them up and I think I've just about finished all of them. So, so yeah, I decided to do a dress form and I wanted to do it as a um, an Edwardian ballerina. So there she is, my first dress form and I'm quite happy with the way it turned out. Um, it's quite large, it's about 14 inches, maybe 15 inches high I think. So I wanted to use colours that um, we you the Edwardian ballerinas wore, and in a style similar to you know to what they wore. Um, I did the base. I th this uh, is a papier mache um, dress form which I bought in a um, for five dollars in an op shop or thrift shop, and it was painted over with metallic bright green with bits of gold everywhere, and it had buttons and bits, ribbons and all kinds of things stu actually stuck onto the torso the papier-mâché, so I had to carefully get them off 
and then I had to paint all over it several layers of gesso in order to get rid of that bright green colour and then I decorated the base as well to fit in with the um, show, uh, the, the dress and you can see it and even if you've got looking at the back it's got the roses at the back as well so that's quite good um, I used a very stiff net for this not, not one of the softer ones because I wanted obviously a ballet dress that stands out and it holds its shape I didn't want anything limp so that's that um, it's a pale lemony colour lemony cream colour I've got roses here and I think these are called a mocha colour and I've um, stickled them so they have a lovely glimmer on them uh, for the bodice I used a um, from a wedding dress the, a vintage wedding dress um, a whole panel of this brocade 1960s brocade so I actually just cut a bit out for the bodice and I used one of the um, one of the covered buttons on the sleeves up here um, and that's I've got tulle cap sleeves edged with very delicate embroidered lace um, got flat back pearls on the bodice which comes to a point and underneath it I've got a crochet vintage lace that comes to points all the way around and then I've got um, there's tassels here in the mocha um, seam binding and lace and um, just a little satin bit there to go with the ribbon the button up here covered button and the same over here with the flowers and around the neck I've put a choker with the little um, gold bit there this is forms part of the back so it, it looks like a necklace at the front and I've put these little tiny beads on which is sort of similar colour to this tiny little things I stuck them on lovely old vintage crochet piece there and it goes down the back with the same little pearls down to form the back and here I've got um, or organza ribbon trimmed uh, edged with um, satin and that's a vintage piece I've got little rolled roses and satins here and pearls coming down here and I've got the flat back pearls going right over here on top of the sleeves crocheted pointed bits there so there yeah, that's um, that's my first dress form done and um, I was quite pleased with it I think it gives a nice look of um, you know being uh, a vintage piece a vintage ballerina which I'm very pleased about I didn't want to bling it up too much I just you know wanted to use pearls and things that they would have used in their ballet dresses um, in the Edwardian period and I wanted to use the colours that would go in with the war plaques of the ballerina the fairy bell ballerina I call her a ballerina because she looks like a ballerina okay so there's my there's my piece down here that's my Edwardian ballerina um, dress form and this is my uh, heart shaped wall plaque wall, wall plaque or plaque plaque I'm not never sure how to pronounce it there you go so that's the two of them together um, I hope you both like I, I hope you like them both <laughs> I particularly hope that um, that Lily likes them so they're there okay so I'm going to end now and I'm going to make part two which is showing my other two projects that I've done for Lily and um, yeah hopefully that won't take too long to do and um, good luck to all who entered the submission for Lily Limaker's Shabalicious Sibbit Shop. Um, yeah, good luck. See you all soon. Bye.